How can Christians be right-wing when the teachings of Jesus lean so much to left and liberal? Jesus would be very disappointed in modern American Christians. He would speak out against megachurches and these pastors wearing Rolex watches and fancy lifestyles. You're asking a bunch of people who disapprove of Christians and right-wingers why Christians are right-wingers. The answers you get will be a mix of because they are stupid and because they are evil. Another option would be to ask the Christians themselves. I'm sure they would tell you. Shrug. This is a loaded question. It's asked from the same perspective of why do poor Republicans vote against their own interests that liberals always ask. I consider myself left-leaning but we can be guilty of thinking everyone with intellect is either on our side or grifting as a Republican, and only stupid people are conservatives. But there's always more nuance to it. Because the teachings of Jesus don't actually lean left or liberal. Jesus didn't speak much about government structure. He didn't talk much about the role of government. He told us to submit to the government and pay our taxes. Jesus taught generosity and charity. To give to the needy. He didn't say that the government should be generous. By only taking bits and pieces of the teachings and intentionally twisting them to fit their agenda. Or by being extremely gullible and believing the people that did that. Hypocrisy and twisting shit to fit their narrative. Because it's quite literally the opposite. His teachings were not left leaning and most definitely not liberal. Do people not know that liberal isn't a synonym for Democrat and that conservative isn't a synonym for Republicans? Neither right nor left can be endorsed by a Christian and be completely correct. Both wings endorse things that a Christian cannot support. Your starting premise is flawed. Compassion, generosity, and forgiveness are neither left or right wing values. I'm confused how you think the teachings of Jesus lean left. Not saying they lean right, either. Trying impute political intent on the teachings of Christ is pretty silly, IMHO. A bit of a misnomer. Jesus preached about individual charity, not government forced charity. In fact, Jesus preached that enforced charity was not charity at all. Based on other replies, it's because right-leaning people don't realize compassion, generosity, and forgiveness are antithetical to what they believe. Christians don't actually read the Bible to learn that kind of stuff. Yes Jesus was brown. Yes Jesus was Jewish. Yes, if Jesus was alive today Christians would be the ones throwing stones at him. Jesus said to give to the poor directly, not give to the government and they'll care for the poor. Jesus didn't like Caesar or expect him to help anybody. Hypocrisy What exactly was liberal about Jesus? Not arguing, just not familiar with him describing politics or government. His teachings don't lean left at all. You've been on Reddit too long. Go read the Gospels. From a certain perspective they don't. Conservative Christians agree about all the stuff about taking care of the poor and helping others, but they point out that he said that into individuals and not governments. That's the line that is drawn. Not what should be done, but who should be doing it. And yes, many churches don't do those things themselves, if not most. You don't have to point it out. Some do, but the loudest ones don't. Because the people you are referring to don't care about the teachings of Jesus or Christian values. They just cherry pick whatever suits their agenda at any given moment and claim to be oh so holy. Christians exist on all sides of the political spectrum they're not all right leaning. Remind me which passage Jesus talks about political philosophy? He wasn't liberal. Jesus wasn't liberal or conservative. Modern political philosophies can't be applied to 2,000 years ago. Christians can be right-wing, or left-wing for that matter, because politics has nothing to do with religion. As a Christian leftist, I would like to know too. Well in the US, it's because modern Christianity has about as much to do with Jesus as modern politics has to do with the Founding Fathers. It's just a story they sell to justify their own power and privilege, while ignoring the whole point of the story. 
the Christian Church has been a political institution in favor of collecting wealth and power for about 1,500 years. Every now and again, someone rises up against it, breaks from the church and starts to be proper Christian again, but then after a generation or so that breakaway becomes an institution and ends up being used for collecting wealth and power. Basically conservative and supporting the US Constitution. The Liberal Democrats are ready to burn the Bible. People who follow everything their religion requires are rare. Christian or otherwise. Most will cherry-pick what they want to do and ignore the inconvenient parts. Periodically asking for forgiveness is easy. Modeling your life by the life and lessons of Jesus is difficult and inconvenient. Sadly enough it's the same for every religion popular enough to have millions of followers. Would you rather be poor, humble, and rich in community? Or rich, powerful, and dictate other people's lives? Because they made up their own version of Christianity to cater to their political beliefs. Religion throughout the years has always been used to justify whatever the people in charge wanted. Most countries leading up to the Industrial Revolution were at least a little bit theocratically lead the church had sway on laws, including early America. It's been used to justify war, slavery, rape forced impregnation, murder, taxes tithe, theft, sexual abuse of minors, the list goes on. Religion in principle is normally about being a good person but in practice it's about doing whatever the people in charge tell you to do, and people in charge tend to not be great people. It's just their plausible deniability excuse to be a massive piece of shit to the rest of the world. You're only reading half the Bible. Jesus' disciples said a lot of right-wing crazy shit, too. The entirety of every religion is pick and choose what you believe in. That's the great thing about the Bible, you can find stuff in there about hating gay people, hating foreigners, hating anyone. Simply because the religious any religion always cherry-pick the bits out of their own book that suits them best and ignore the bits that don't. Just try reasoning with the extreme ones. And they'll say well it says so in this book. And then when you remind them that other religions also have their own books, they'll say yeah, but theirs are wrong. Dot and mine is right. And that is basically all the reasoning they have. Americans be like Protestantism all of Christianity. The only left-wing Jesus is his economic left. There is no contradiction between socially conservative and Christian. American Christians Direct dialogue from the Bible from the Jesus character. Matthew 10 36 Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Most American Christians never read the Bible. Christians don't actually follow the teachings of Jesus, they prefer his father because he is more hateful and murderous gives them excuses to hate, and attempt to genocide queer people that Jesus never would. You are expecting way too much logical consistency from a religion, mate. Jesus is just a shill for big God. I've been asking this question for years. That's why I left the church. Humans are dicks. Of the Ten Commandments, there is not one the right of center American Christian fundamentalist won't break in the name of their pastor. Hint those are the Christians who believe that God and Jesus are white. Don't even think of telling them that Jesus himself was Jewish, because those Christians will hurt you if you do. Ignorance and gullibility are built into religious practice. Preachers and politicians use this to their advantage to get money and votes by stoking fear in stupid people and promising to fix everything in God's name. That's where you get all this hypocritical nonsense and culture war bullshit. Many people claiming to be Christian aren't Christian at all, and Jesus told us that's how it would go. Many false Christians are really just looking to improve their own personal lives through a kind of self-help mindset and get rich through prayer, and have a breakthrough types of mentality. They're led astray and totally corrupt. And to make themselves feel better about things not going their way since they're not following the word of God, they try to trample others, just as Jesus told them not to. No love, no kindness, no mercy, always judging. These are not Christians.